Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today, as part of the equipment series, we're going to talk about attachable combs. So attachable clipper combs that can make your clipping and scissoring just a little bit easier. One thing I want to say about clipper combs, clipper attachments, is that they are not time savers when it comes to brushing and combing your dog. If your dog is not 100% combed out properly, the clipper comb, no matter what size it, it is, is not going to glide through that coat. So let's talk about the different kinds of clipper combs, clipper attachments that are out there. So here I have a set of clipper combs and these are by wall, but what these are for, these are specifically made for a clipper like the Bravara that has a five in one blade. So this is a blade that goes from approximately a 40 to approximately a nine by turning this little knob. So these combs, how they go on the clipper blade is they, you start it at the top and you slide it down the blade until the metal teeth of the comb hit the metal teeth of the blade. Then the guide, no matter see how deep it is, depending on how the depth of it is going to obviously leave the coat longer or shorter. So here we have a very deep comb. And then here we have a comb that is very, very shallow that is obviously going to leave the coat shorter. So no matter what you want length of coat, you do have a clipper comb that will do that job for you. They're sometimes also called clipper guides, but there are a different type that you would use for a five in one blade than you would use for a actual clipper with a snap on type detachable blade. So here I have the Chris Christensen Artemis clipper, and this is a true clipper, not a trimmer. And the difference is, is that you need a different size blade for each cutting length that you are going to clipper your dog. So because these combs, so these are clipper combs that are made for these snap-on type blades, these combs will fit on any snap-on type blade, doesn't need to be the Crest Christensen blade, and they don't slide on in the same way. They have these little hooks right here and you hook them at the bottom and you use your thumbs to slide it up and over the top of the blade. And to take it off, you pull it up and then let it slide down. It's basically spring loaded, right? So again, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna take these hooks, I'm gonna hook them to the bottom of the blade. And then at the top, the blade is, the pepper comb has a hook that snaps over and comes back down and fits snugly onto that blade. Now let's talk a little bit about what clipper blade you would use. So with these metal comb attachments, I like to use a 30 blade. Some people like to use a 10 and I think that's okay too. I just think you get a little bit of a finer look, a better clip if you use a 30 blade. What I will warn you against is that you don't want to do this with a 40 blade because the metal of the blade hitting the very fine edge of your 40 blade will often cause your 40 blade um, to kind of disintegrate against the metal of um, these clipper combs. So I always like to use a 30 blade. And again, I'm just gonna like pop it on there, snap it up. And again, these come in different depths that are obviously going to leave the coat of your dog a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. And so I think we have a model here and we're just going to get her on the table and we're gonna show you the different depths that these clipper combs work in. So now we're gonna get started and kind of show you a little bit about how clipper combs work. So one thing that is absolutely certain is that if your comb, and here I'm using like a wider tooth comb, this is our 004 poodle comb, and if the comb doesn't slide through the coat, there is no way the clipper comb will slide through the coat. So this is where it can save you a lot of time, but if the coat isn't properly prepped, you're not going to get the desired effect. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a longer comb on here so you can just see me like pushing this up, pulling this clipper comb off. And I'm gonna put about our medium comb on there. And again, this is over a 30 blade. And then I'm going to take it and turn it on and just like, I'm gonna hold the hair taut and I'm just gonna slide this like through the coat, right? So you can see 
um, that it leaves this really plush look. And, you know, after about three passes of the clipper blade, it should look pretty good. So I might take my comb or my slicker brush and like run through that a few times and you can see what a nice job it has done. It's made it look like nice and scissored. So then if I slid off this um, longer comb and let me put on one that actually shows a little bit different, put on a shorter comb and again, we want to just run it. I like to go in the direction that, uh, that the hair is growing or against the direction the hair is going, but never across the hair. That's when it's just not gonna do the job. So I might use this shorter clipper comb and take off like most of her body coat. And then I might switch to a longer comb. And this is where it can save your time, but only if, so you can see how much longer that is gonna leave the coat. Only if the coat is well prepped is it gonna save you time. Then I might blend this in and just make her legs be longer by using this longer comb. Um, so you can see how this is going to leave the hair longer on her leg hair as well. Again, if you wanted to create some kind of style and flair with your groom, you might do the back of her leg with a shorter one to show off her engagement. So again, we'll just see how easy it is to switch these combs on and off. We're just gonna put this comb back on and we're just gonna do the back of her leg. Here's her pin bone from her pin bone, like to above her hawk just to create some flair and drama in our group. So the next time that you're thinking of using clipper combs and really kind of creating this stylized look without a lot of scissor time, think about using a clipper comb. Clearly at the end, we would finish this with scissoring. So just scissor the areas in together. But if you're experiencing hand fatigue in your grooming, um, if scissoring is really like causing a toll on you, or you just want the dog to be groomed a lot quicker, think about using a clipper comb and it can save you a lot of time. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below. Let us know what you thought. And as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.